Hello everyone, this is my channel Tally Learning World. In today's video, we will learn about how to do job work in Tally Prime. So, what is job work? Conversion of raw material into finished goods is called as job work. So, before we process of job work, let's have a look on how to enable of job work process in Tally Prime. To enable, we'll just press F11. We have a feature enable job order processing to S. So once we enable this option, we'll just press Ctrl E. So as I have created some of the stock items, I wanted to manufacture a cake and I have created all my ingredients which is available in my company. As you can see, the stock items as X, flour and sugar are my ingredients and you can see the stock quantities are also I have enabled. So there is no stock which is available in the cake as my finished goods. So before we proceed with this, I wanted to give you the alter a stock item that is finished goods press F12, there is option set component list of bill of material in stock item to S and ensure the option we have alter component BOM S. I will give the name for example as BOM1 and I have selected all these details as my ingredients and what is the quantity I am going to use to manufacture. 1 kg of a cake. I'll just press Ctrl A again Ctrl A to save the stock item. So let's create a godown for a job worker. To create a godown, we'll go to create godown. We'll click on create new. So we have job worker godown. And to get this features as stock with third party, we'll just press F12 and we'll enable the option enable third party for stock details to yes and we'll enable this option as stock with third party as I wanted to send my raw materials to my job worker. So I'll just enable this option and I press Ctrl A. So before we record a transaction will alter some of the voucher types that are material in voucher type will alter the option and will enable use for job work as yes and if you want to allow consumption in your company you can enable this option to s yes. and will alter the material out voucher type and will enable the option use for job work yes. and ensure we are not going to do right now as job work in so job work in will be set to no we'll just press ctrl a so let's record a transactions to record a transaction from the gateway of tally we'll go to voucher so we'll just press f10 the first voucher which we are going to record in job work out that is job work out order. So we'll select name of the party I have created and I'll just select the order number and I'm trying to give an order for cake. I'll select track components S and I'll give the quantity 1. As you can see I have set it under the BOM as due to the BOM my track it's been taken automatically as my ingredients are being displayed and what is the quantity and how what is the rate has been set for this each stock item it's been displayed. So I'll just press Ctrl A. The cost for one cake it's 230 rupees. I'll just keep this and I'll just press enter and Ctrl A. Now once the job work out order is done, 
we need to send the material to a job worker to send this material we'll just press f10 and we'll select the voucher called material out so in this we'll select the party name as creditors and we are getting the order detail track we'll select the component issue order track we'll press control a and you can see the destination go down it's been asked so we'll select the job worker go down and you can see we are going to send our raw materials to our job worker it's been displayed so i will just save this voucher by pressing control a the next voucher which we are going to record once we are sending the goods the job worker will manufacture the goods and he will return it back to us with the voucher with the name called material in so let's change the date and we'll record a transaction on different date if you need it so i wanted to record a material out voucher so let's select the party name and you can see the order number track it's been displayed as material receipt order we'll just press control a from the party details screen you can see here the stock which we have going to receive its cake as a finished goods so we'll just select as a main location and we'll press control a so all job work vouchers has been done but we have taken the service from the job worker so we have to record two accounting vouchers one is purchase to record a purchase voucher we'll just press from the voucher screen f9 and we'll give some supplier invoice number and we'll select the party name and we'll create some ledger that is labor charges under direct expenses so i want to pay some of the labor charges amount we'll just press control a and to record a payment voucher so we'll just press f5 we are going to make a payment through cash to our creditors party for 70 rupees we'll just track as an against reference and we'll just press save this voucher by pressing control a to view the job work reports from the gateway of tally you can just go to display we have job work reports as per your requirement you can see the orders we have registers and stock details to view the job work in or job work out register you can just go to job work out order book if you want you can see material out register the same way we have for stock items as well thank you for watching the video kindly like comment and share my videos for more videos subscribe to my channel tally learning world and press the bell icon to get new updates and new videos